sights, sounds, and information just for you from your friends at ASM. finding a new use for an existing product or an experimental idea that got ditched and then dusted off later on. Whatever the case is, most often when we recycle something, it is for money. You see, after those mind control experiments got shelved in 73, we figured that was the end. Of course, we had no idea that the spiritual boom of the mid-60s and early 70s would kick open the door for all sorts of therapy. By the late 70s, this stuff was as popular as cocaine and disco. From primal scream, attachment therapy, and centers for feelings, you couldn't go to a cocktail party without someone recommending a new form of this or that. Even stuff from the late 1800s spiritualist movement got some attention. But now, it was as if the hippie cults traded in their tie-dyes for tweed jackets and pantsuits, country compounds for business offices, and VW buses for BMWs. Well, we were part of the experiments towards the tail end. After that, we got stuck pushing papers and expense reports. Since the techniques didn't really have a patent on them, a group of us took what we knew about hypnosis and pharmaceuticals in order to pitch it to the psych and therapy set. Eventually, we worked it out so we'd be selling our courses at conventions. Enough doctors and clinics bought into our ideas that soon we had books being sold in chain stores and shrinks getting fat off of the methods we were laying out. We didn't even care about the knockoffs. Still, we weren't really thinking long term, not by any means. We just had no idea that what we'd unleash would be as bad as it turned out. That something was a phenomena called the Karen. It started off as an internet thing where typically a middle-aged white lady goes off on someone for nothing more than being public. As time went on, we realized that these weren't isolated incidents, not all of them. Before long, the Karens showed up in various colors. They also had the male counterparts of Ken and the often silent supporter called the Standard Chad. The original group of us are now retired. Using our access to a database of doctors and clinics that used our methods, we quickly figured out that most of these people had received treatment via said techniques. It's been said that many of these public freakouts are rooted in racist or classist tendencies, and while that might be the case for some, we realized that our methods were not as permanent as we thought. These people have essentially become like sleeper agents. It wasn't the typical complaint over cookouts in public parks that really frightened us, but the 1,000 plus that received a treatment called Basic Plus. <laughs> the usual techniques, but including a now discontinued drug called Comatose, as in calm. 
Uh, it was originally called Sleeping Devil. After a trial run in Desert Storm in which 20 of the test subjects became extremely dangerous on a non-human level, it was discontinued. That was around the time we dissolved our side business. We figured that any civilian who took it could never be in as heightened a state of anger or fear as a soldier. Still, after one mysterious incident that was blamed on spontaneous human combustion, we had to act. Setting up our recall in the guise of focus groups, we'd slip them the antidote, the new brand of organic juice we were testing. All around North America and the UK, we had our pop-ups and had gotten everyone on the list, save two. Conveniently enough, these two were married. Well, we were foolish to think it would go so smoothly. As we speak, the lady is downstairs in the lobby. What started as a parking space disagreement has escalated beyond the usual social media click. Peering over the railing from the safety of the third floor, we can see the chaos unfold. There she is, middle-aged, and yes, she has that hairstyle. Her husband has floated in behind her too. His polo shirt and yuppie-looking khakis are in tatters. They are now melting everything they touch as they are completely enveloped in flames caused by their rage. This is why we wanted comatose away from the public. Sleeping devil. Our reckless decision for easy money has damned us. They are approaching a most dangerous level and we have to put them down if we are to survive. But do we deserve to live after what we've done? The lights are on as the evening shadows are creeping in. Hopefully, you won't get caught in the turn of night.